Hi guys, welcome to another episode of The Beautiful You Show. Um, today I am coming to you with a talk story video. So I just wanted to give you a quick update on how I am doing with yoga and how I am enjoying it. Um, so I've been doing yoga probably for about two months now. Um, starting in January, or was it February? No, January. Starting from January, I've been doing it consistently. So I go three times a week. Um, there has been some weeks where I go four times a week. There is a local yoga place here that um, they give free classes when some of their um, instructors are trying to get like a higher certification. So they were offering um, free classes. And so I took advantage of that. So for about four weeks, I was going to yoga four times a week. Um, I still love yoga. I feel like my, is my head crooked or is my camera crooked? I feel like something is crooked here and I can't quite figure it out. Okay, is my head straight and my thing is crooked? Okay, does that look better? <laughs> does it make a difference? <laughs> Okay, um, back to yoga. So I have noticed a huge difference. Um, some of the poses are not as difficult as they used to be. So let me just get it out of the way. I am the gib the gibbest, really, the biggest person in like all the yoga classes that I have been in. Um, everybody else is much smaller than I so I would say I am possibly usually the only plus sized person in the yoga class and um, I although I cannot do every single pose I am able to still do most of the poses there are some where if I go into the pose, I do have to leave the pose sooner than others. Um, and that usually depends on my knees. So I have osteoarthritis in both of my knees and my left knee tends to buckle at times. So like if I'm doing a downward dog, that's when you are on all fours. You're kind of like a, um, you look like a mountain but they don't call that mountain pose. They call that downward dog. And so there's times where when you're in that position, they ask you to lift your opposite leg. And so if I'm in that position and I have to lift my right leg, meaning that all of my weight goes to my left leg, there's times where my knee will buckle and I won't be able to do it and I have to come out of the pose sooner. Um, but the thing I love about yoga is it is a practice that you are really instructed to pay attention to your body. It really is your own practice. Even though you have an instructor that's teaching you the different poses, um, and some instructors go around and they like to make sure that you're really uh, fully in the pose. So they help you stand straighter or they help you um, bend a little bit more. They really want you to get the most benefit from each pose. And so even though you have instructors, they really are there to kind of guide you to listening to what is okay for your body. And since I've started yoga, I really have been doing that. Um, and your body is always speaking to you. Yes, it might not speak English, but there's times where there's certain nerves that you can feel that your body is like, oh, okay, that's a little bit too much. Um, please like scale back on that pose or your body, like you can just tell your body just falls into a certain pose and your body is like, that feels great. I could stay here for a while. I really enjoy this pose. Um, so I love that aspect of it. Another aspect that I love is it does focus on breathing. So it becomes kind of a meditative. Is that a word? I'm going to use it. 
it becomes a meditative practice because while you're doing your poses you're really focusing on your breathing and there's times where poses are really strenuous and your breathing is catching so you're so you're like <laughs> You know, or you're holding your breath because your muscles are working so hard. And yoga is one of those practices. I don't know if you are familiar with yoga. Yoga is one of those practices. It kind of is like Tai Chi where you don't look like you're doing much. Like people just look like they're bent over or or they're kneeling down or they're leaning or they're looking to their left or looking to their right. It it really is um, deceiving in that sense because what you're actually doing is there's muscles in your body that are activated while you're in the pose and your body is working to keep that pose to make it last longer. And so it really is deceiving in that sense where you look like you're just, oh, I'm just standing here, I'm having a great time. But no, you're actively working um, and while you're working, you have to work on your breathing. And so it helps you really get focused on your breath and making sure you're breathing, you're inhaling, you're exhaling. And yes, you're always breathing, but it's a different type. It's a different type of breath. Um, it's a more calming breath. It's a breath that really supplies oxygen to oxygen to all the different places in your body. So this has been my second month of consistent yoga um, classes at least three times a week. I really enjoy it. Um, I see myself possibly getting to where I would like to do yoga maybe every day or at least five times a week. Um, I definitely feel refreshed after it. I, even though you're working while you're in the poses, there is something very refreshing and very energizing about it. And some of my favorite uh, poses are, I've come to like downward dog. In the beginning, I was like, how many more downward dogs can we do? Because some instructors are downward dog happy. And it's like, how many more downward dogs? But I've really come to see that as a, like a full body stretch. And so I look forward to it. And even resting in that pose feels good now. Um, so I enjoy that. I enjoy a lot of the stretching poses to where you're, you may be laying on your back, but you have either your right or your left leg um stretching all the way to the other side and that feels really nice but I'm still going um, on this yoga journey it still is very gentle on my back and it still is very gentle on my knees even though I am stretching I'm working I am building muscle um, it still has it's not as strenuous as if I was running or jogging um, I do hopefully later on down the line want to incorporate some weightlifting into it. But for now, I really enjoy my practice and I plan on continuing. If you have any questions, um, leave them down below and I'll answer them. Just wanted to share with you. So this is a lay pole. Me and my friends got together yesterday and we made these. Um, it's so nice. I wanted to wear it again before it starts wilting and going bad. Uh, we also made um, sage. Oh, that looks weird. It looks like a bony tails. We also made sage uh, bus bushes. Bushes. <laughs> sage bushes and we put like rose petals any leftover flowers that we had we uh we put it into the sage bush so thank you so much for joining me oh my hair is sticking up have a nice day if you have any questions leave them down below and i'll be happy to answer them but thank you bye bye till next time